Hey everyone, so in this tips video I'm going to be showing how you can prevent corrosion on not only your ribbon cables but also your standard connectors on your printers using this dielectric grease. So let's talk about it. Okay, so first things first, you do not need a giant tube of dielectric grease. Being that I also do repairs on my car and I have multiple printers, getting a large tube made a lot of sense. But you can also buy little packets over at any auto parts store for a dollar or two, and if that, and that is all you're going to need. Also, I highly recommend a pair, a couple of uh, Q-tips, and if you have it, some can duster and or contact cleaner. The main point is, while you have everything out, you might as well clean it. Now, one thing I will say is if you've already had burning or corrosion on any of your connectors, it's too late. Go ahead and properly replace them. Um, but if you don't have that, this is what I do. So on my Genius here, I have intentionally removed the covers that would get in the way for filming. That's up to you if you want to do that or not, but strictly for filming, I've removed them. So let's zoom in and show you the process. Okay, so here on the X connector, I'm just going to gently wiggle this loose. And I should also make note that the printer is completely turned off and unplugged. You don't want to do this while things are powered up because you run the risk of shorting things out and just not good. So I'm just going to come along and spray in here really quick. Just in case there was any dust in there, it's not a bad idea. Now we're going to take our grease and our Q-tip and I'm going to only take a tiny amount on there. We don't need much and I'm just going to take and carefully rub that make sure that there's no lint that's going to get in there. Then what I like to do to make sure it got spread evenly is I'll just stick it in and pull it out a couple of times gently just to make sure that it all gets worked in there. And that's that's it for that. Now Accessing the heater is a little bit trickier on camera, so I'm just going to do the fan. I'm not saying you need to do the fan, but just for the purposes of the video. Um, pop this out. Same process, just spray it down a little. Blow out any dust and gunk. And then we'll take a little bit of the dielectric grease. We'll just apply it over the pins. And in this case, I'm not going to move it in and out. I'm just going to pop it back in there and that's really all you need to do. Now I'm also going to show you what to do for the z-axis side over here. So for that the process is the same except for you're going to want to stick your fingernails underneath these two little locking tabs and pull them up. And that's how easy it is to apply dielectric grease to your connectors and your cables. And obviously, if you have a loose connection, this is not a cure-all, but it helps prevent arcing and corrosion from happening. If you can prevent that, you can prevent a lot of other issues with your machinery. So, hope you found this useful, and I'll see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.